Hello guys, welcome back to the S3D Hobby Shop. I'm S3D and the work is done. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the repaint of this uh, um, custom uh, Wicked Cool Toys, the Spartan Collection Master Chief figure. So uh, you saw my progression video uh, early on today. Um, yeah, I mean, this only took me about like, you know, 40 minutes to uh, do. So it's very easy. Alright, so anyway, it's just a quick and simple paint job with panel lining, you know, something like that. Uh, make the color a little bit more uniform, you know, throughout the whole figure. Um, I mean, really not much to talk about. It's a, it's a very, very, uh, <laughs> very easy paint job, you know. And I, I think it looks, you know, a bit better, you know. Um, if the figure was released like this... I probably would have given more points for it, you know. Um, yeah, of course, uh, my customer didn't want it, the extra weathering and stuff like that, so I just kept it, you know, like, like maybe just, you know, pick up the armor, you know, just uh, uh, the armor just came out of storage or something like that. <laughs> Looking uh, minty fresh. So, yeah, um, I did actually do more extra work for the weapons, painted the weapons in a custom color scheme, like that. Uh, he wanted to display this guy next to the, his G.I. Joe's figure because he always wanted Master Chief with the G.I. Joe. So, yeah, so I painted the weapon very similar to uh, stuff that I do for his G.I. Joe figures. And uh, here's the pistol, which I also, you know, custom painted. So, add extra details here and there, you know, just spice it up a little bit, painted the sights right there, and then uh, we have the hands, which, you know, I added in the panel lining to, you know, bring out the details on these hands, stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, I think, I think he should be happy with it. Um, of course, this is only cosmetics, you know, the, the, uh, the figure is still riddled with like articulation issues, engineering issues, you know, you can't really ignore these knee parts, they just look really, you know, <laughs> not good, and the elbows, once you bend them, it's very unsightly and stuff like that. Um, other than that, you know, um, yeah, you know, I, I still say this, if you're buying this figure, you know, some people say it for 20 bucks, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, it's not a big deal. It's better than a Marvel Legend, right? If you get a better value, then, you know. Actually, that's a good argument, you know. <laughs> Even at this state, you know, as a release figure, you know, uh, as is, uh, I think it still offers more value than a Marvel Legends figure, like a standard Marvel Legends figure. I know Hasbro's been, uh, you know, stepping up the game on the figures because they're getting a lot of criticism. People are saying, like, dude, why are we paying 20 bucks for something like this when other company offers such a, you know, much, much better product? So, yeah, that, that's a legitimate argument. You know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So if you're getting this guy for 20 bucks, it's still more, uh, you know, valuable than any Marvel Legends figure. Well, not any like every Marvel Legend figure, some Marvel Legend figure that's on the market today. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, take that into consideration. Uh, it's definitely, you know, better than the Marvel Legends figure, but Hasbro isn't aiming really high <laughs> when it comes to the, that pro particular product line. So, I mean, like, uh, Jazzware had to, you know, consider other jazzware products you know you had you had to make your choice you know uh, they have higher quality products at the same price point so take that also take that into consideration so anyway i hope you guys uh find this custom interesting uh you know you're the consumer you make your decisions you pay whatever you want to pay you know if you want to pay full price for it go ahead if you don't want to pay full price for it you know save your money and uh, spy when, you know, there's a sale or something like that. Thanks for watching.